Ivar Jaiver Norwegian, Jaiver, IPA, Ivar Jaiver, born April 5, 1929, is a Norwegian-American physicist who shared the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1973 with Leo Asaki and Brian Josephson, for their discoveries regarding tunneling phenomena in solids. Jaiver's share of the prize was specifically for his experimental discoveries regarding tunneling phenomena in superconductors. Jaiver is a professor emeritus at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, a professor at large at the University of Oslo, and the president of the company Applied Biophysics. <laughs> Early life Jaiver earned a degree in mechanical engineering from the Norwegian Institute of Technology in Trondheim in 1952. In 1954, he emigrated from Norway to Canada, where he was employed by the Canadian Division of General Electric. He moved to the United States four years later, joining General Electric's Corporate Research and Development Center in Schenectady, New York, in 1958. He has lived in Niskayuna, New York, since then, taking up U.S. citizenship in 1964. While working for General Electric, Jaiver earned a Ph.D. degree at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in 1964. The Nobel Prize The work that led to Jaiver's Nobel Prize was performed at General Electric in 1960. Following on Asaki's discovery of electron tunneling in semiconductors in 1958, Jaiver showed that tunneling also took place in superconductors, demonstrating tunneling through a very thin layer of oxide surrounded on both sides by metal in a superconducting or normal state. Jaiver's experiments demonstrated the existence of an energy gap in superconductors, one of the most important predictions of the BCS theory of superconductivity, which had been developed in 1957. Jaiver's experimental demonstration of tunneling in superconductors stimulated the theoretical physicist Brian Josephson to work on the phenomenon, leading to his prediction of the Josephson effect in 1962. Asaki and Jaiver shared half of the 1973 Nobel Prize, and Josephson received the other half. Jaiver's research later in his career was mainly in the field of biophysics. In 1969, he researched biophysics for a year as a fellow at Clare Hall, University of Cambridge, through a Guggenheim Fellowship, and he continued to work in this area after he returned to the U.S. He has co signed a letter from over 70 Nobel laureate scientists to the Louisiana legislature supporting the repeal of Louisiana's Louisiana Science Education Act. Other prizes In addition to the Nobel Prize, he has also been awarded the Oliver E. Buckley Prize by the American Physical Society in 1965, and the Zwarikin Award by the National Academy of Engineering in 1974. In 1985, he was awarded an honorary degree, Dr. Honoris Causa, at the Norwegian Institute of Technology, later part of Norwegian University of Science and Technology. He is a member of the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters. Global warming Jaiver has repeatedly professed skepticism of global warming, calling it a new religion. In a featured story in Norway's largest newspaper, Aftenposten, 26 June 2011, Jaiver stated, It is amazing how stable temperature has been over the last 150 years. On 13 September 2011, Jaiver resigned from the American Physical Society over its official position. The APS fellow noted, In the APS it is okay to discuss whether the mass of the proton changes over time and how a multi-universe behaves, but the evidence of global warming is incontrovertible? As part of the 62nd Lindau Nobel Laureate meeting, Jaiver commented on the significance of the apparent rise in temperature when he stated, what does it mean that the temperature has gone up 0.8 degrees Kelvin, probably nothing. Referring to the selection of evidence in his presentation, Jaiver stated, I pick and choose when I give this talk just the way the previous speaker Mario Molina picked and chose when he gave his talk. Jaiver concluded his presentation with a pronouncement. Is climate change pseudoscience? 
If I'm going to answer the question, the answer is, absolutely. Jaever repeated his claims in a speech at the same place in 2015, referring to data on global average temperature published amongst others by NASA that show global average surface temperature has risen less than 1K in 140 years, and not risen at all for the years from 2000 to 2014. A main point of Jaever's speech was discussing reliability of the statistical calculation of this temperature with respect to the spatial distribution of measurement locations over the globe, especially what he viewed as poor coverage in the Southern Hemisphere. Jaever is currently a science advisor with American conservative and libertarian think tank, the Heartland Institute. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Jaever married his childhood sweetheart Inger Scramstad in 1952. They have four children, John, Anne, Guri and Trine. Jaever is an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> Selected publications Jaever, Ivar Energy gap in superconductors measured by electron tunneling. Physical Review Letters. 5 4, 147. Bibcode, 1960 PHRVL. 0.5, 147G. doi, 10.1103, Fizrevlet.5.147. Jaever, Ivar. 1960. Electron tunneling between two superconductors. Physical Review Letters. 5 10, 464. Bibcode, 1960 PHRVL. 0.5464G. DOI 10.1103 Fizrevlet.5.464. Jaever, Ivar. 1974. Electron tunneling and superconductivity. Reviews of Modern Physics. 46 2, 245. Bibcode 1974 RVMP. 0.46245G. Doi 10.1103 revmodefees.46.245. Jaever, Ivar. 2016. I am the smartest man I know. A Nobel laureate's difficult journey. World Scientific. ISBN 978-981-3109-17-9. Topic. References. Topic. External links Interview with Professor Ivar Jaever, from the official Nobel Prize website University of Oslo website about Ivar Jaever Family genealogy